What's up guys? Oh, <coughs> sorry, sorry. Hey, what's up guys? You know what's that? That. My Moto G. No, I was just kidding. It's right there. Anyways, I was thinking about rooting my Moto G and to my luck there was no, there was absolutely no video on YouTube to help me or guide me through the process. Obviously, this is the XT1033, the dual sim variant. This is what we get in India. And fortunately, a guy from Facebook, Ankesh Bharti, I will leave his link right below the like button. Add him if you want to. He is a really good guy. He has helped me through the process. So shout out to him. He has done something really helpful. He has set up a site just as a guide through unlock route and unmod the Moto G. I will leave that site also right below the like button. So you have to download everything what the site says. So today, we are going to unlock the bootloader, fix the boot screen. You know what I mean a little later. Root and change this into a single sim phone that is XT1032 for custom ROMs. Smells delicious, right? There are a few disclaimers to get out of the way before we start. Number one, this is going to be a long video, so please bear with me. Number two, you can root when you run the dual sim firmware, but if you go, if you are going to flash the single sim firmware, you will end up using root, which doesn't make any sense. Number three, I can't run CM11 or Sanazen Mode 11 in mine. Because it was very laggy and uh, the earpiece did not work properly. So if you have any help, please drop them in the comments below. And let's go. The first step is to enable USB debugging. Just go to develop options and enable USB debugging. Or enable the develop options by tapping on the build number several times. You know, these stuffs, normal stuffs. And enable USB debugging. And we are going to switch off the phone now. We are going to bootloader. Check that's by pressing the power button and the volume down button at the same time. And this is what the bootloader looks like in our Moto G. Just connect the phone to the computer by with the USB cable. And we are done with the phone part now. This is the file, this is the site I was talking about and there are about 8 files, you should download everything. I'll leave a link right below the like button. And after you download, extract platform tools to a folder. This is what, this is how it looks like after extracting. Press shift and click right click and you'll, you'll be greeted with a command window. Type fast boot devices yeah that's right fast boot devices and if you see a number with number with spaces and fast boot your device is it means your, your the device is active in adb and now we're gonna, we're gonna type fast boot oem get un, underscore unlock underscore data It's gonna give a lot of numbers. We want this. We want these numbers. So, right click, click mark, and copy it. Hit enter to copy, and paste it in a notepad for safer, for safer reasons. And make it a big string. Like we don't want any spaces. Copy the entire thing, and head to Motorola's website you know general stuffs and paste the key there can we and click can my device be unlocked it says note if your device is unlockable a request, a request unlock key button will now appear in the bottom of the page yeah it, it's there I click I agree it's going to mail me the key you should have received an email with the unlock key yeah I have received so this is my unlock key. Just copy it. And these are the commands. We are just checking that the device is again uh, active in ADB. Fastboot devices again. Just verification these stuffs. Yeah it's active. A number, space and fastboot. And the command. 
Passport, OEM, Unlock, and our unique key. Right click and paste. Yeah. Now hit enter. So the process is going and this is what happens in your phone. Unlock. It says unlock here. And it should get completed in a minute or two now. Yeah, unlocked. So the bootload is now unlocked now. And wait for it to reboot. Mind this reboot will take some time because we are just unlocked the bootloader of the phone. It might take some time. Don't get panic. So the phone is rebooting. Warning bootloader unlock and that's the warning splash screens. This is what I meant. We'll fix this. We don't want this. We don't want the phone to show this every time. Right. And voila, your bootloader is successfully unlocked. Wait for it to reboot. Yeah, come on. Alright, there, there you go. It's preparing the device, come on. Yeah, finished. Next, we are going to fix the boot screen. This is the warning screen that comes every time we reboot. We don't want this to come every time. So we are going to fix this. How? Yeah, we just wait for mine to just reboot. Yeah, so it's up. We're gonna just shut it down again and put it back to bootloader. And come on, bootloader again. Volume down and power button at the same time. Yeah, bootloader. and connect it to the PC you won't get this much connected and disconnected because um, my USB cable was a little bit little bit off and you should open Moto IO tool Moto tool IO just unzip it and open it and in the tools department click fix boot logo and do it yeah that's it there you go no warning screen Voila! Gain, boot up, and enable enable USB debugging. Enabling USB debugging, debugging is important. Like it's the it's the main step. And switch the device off again. Again, bootloader. You know, guys, bootloader. Volume down and power button at the same time. Don't forget that. Connect to the PC and we're going to go to the computer. Download the firmware, platform tools, and retail GB file, the bat file, and extract those into a single folder. Everything should be in a single folder, and there's nothing much to say, guys. We should just. We're just going to recheck again for our device. Is it active on uh, ADB or not? So fastboot devices again. Fastboot devices. Yeah, fastboot devices. Yeah, we're getting number space fastboot. Yeah, it's active. So just double click the retail GB file and click run. That's it. It's going to take care of everything. 
this is what the phone looks like when it's flashing make sure you have uh, a decent amount of charge left and so that it does not switch off in the half of the process just to be safe and it will take time um, I haven't fast forward the part just so that you know it will take time guys whatever happens just don't panic uh, it's going to finish I think yeah on this is what the command prompt in the system looks like it's writing system it seems <laughs> that retail retail GB bat file is the important file here and of course the firmware file we should extract it everything in the uh, into a single folder yeah done press any any you don't do yeah it's done and just reboot the phone that's it and you get the warning screen again just fix the boot logo again nothing to worry here come on yeah Booting. Yeah, preparing device. A uh, single sim. See the signal bar. Yeah, single signal bar. Yeah, you just converted your XT1033 to XT1032. Pat yourself. Ask me, my tripod. Yeah, welcome screen. English, United States, yeah, start. I'm just going to skip everything for now. Super continue. No, no, not now. Maybe later. Yeah. Just showing you that it's single sim. Yeah, single sim. Now, to root the phone. Rooting is easy, guys. Just make sure that you put the update super su zip file into the internal memory before you do anything and go to the bootloader. Normal step. Volume down and power button. And connect it to the computer. And go to Moto Tool, AIO V3, anything. That's, yeah, as I told, copy to the super su zip file into the internet memory. That's also available in that site. That guy is awesome, awesome guys. It's included everything in that site. And click select recovery. And click the seller, downloaded seller, recovery that you downloaded. That is also available in the site. And click flash recovery. That's it. Custom level flashed. It should say mismatch partition size. Then you have flashed successfully, or else do the step again and reboot to recovery. This is easy, guys. And CWM clockwork mode and go to choose file from SD card and flash the file which you have just put into the phone. Super Zoo. Super user. Just flash it. Yeah. And it's flashing. Done. Now you have to just reboot the phone. And you are rooted. Wait till I show you. And that's the boot screen.
Come on. Come on, baby. Yeah, it seems Android is upgrading. Yeah, up, get up. Abdoil. And there you go, super soup. A super user. That's just awkward. So yeah, this was the method that I tried and it worked wonderfully well and will probably work well in yours too. So if you have any questions or queries, drop them in the comments below and I'll make sure to answer them. And I'll get out of here. It's time, right? Peace.